Oh, here we are again. Vlogging again? Yeah. It's been a while. Do we remember how to do this? I feel like I'm going to be so awkward talking to this camera yeah, again. It's been way too long. Oh, well, let's try it anyway. See how it goes. I feel like I'm going to need practice and like tons of outtakes. Yeah. I guess that's more for the gag reel though, so that's not so bad. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Good, Good morning. morning. So it has been, I think, like 10 weeks since we got back from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And so that means we spent 10 weeks in Canada. Yep, but we have been doing a fair amount since that time. The main reason that we did come back in the first place was to sort out my citizenship. And I'm very happy to say that I am now proudly a Canadian citizen. Woohoo! Yeah. And so that means I now have a Canadian passport, so I can get back into the country any time. It so means we have matching passports. I know. Shiny UK and Canadian passports between us, which is fantastic news. That is a huge amount of peace of mind that we didn't have before. And that's just going to really help us out for future travels. In addition to Nick getting his Canadian passport, we have also been busy filming and editing our tips and tricks videos. So I hope that you guys have been liking them. That's kind of a new addition to our channel. Totally packed this wrong. <laughs> and I think another thing that you may have noticed is we got some fancy animations and everything like that. That's been as a result of us learning an all new editing software which hopefully will make our lives easier. It will just add a little bit of added polish to what we're doing as well. So yeah, super excited to really get to grips properly with that as we do our next bits of travel as well. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy the more professional looking videos as Nick learns and incorporates more of the animations into our new videos. Thanks. And then one of my other favorite things we did while we were here for 10 weeks is we just spent time with our friends and family yeah. and had some really quality time to catch up and hang out because you know we missed that while we were away 100 percent. every now and then it's just very good for the soul to catch up with familiar faces so definitely appreciative of having the time and also for everybody that we did see for making the time to come see us massively appreciated i hope everything fits in here because you know it's looking pretty stuffed right now I mean, moment of truth coming up in a few seconds. But I guess all that's left to do is zip up my suitcase and head to the airport. We have a full slate of travel set up for the next few months. And so with that, we are heading to Toronto Airport to get started. Back on the road. While we were at home, we decided to get a new credit card, and this is the CIBC Business Visa Aeroplan card. So this card will not only get us more points, but it also apparently gets us access into a new lounge, the Maple Leaf Lounge, which we've heard is much nicer than the Priority Pass Lounge, which we have done a review of previously, so definitely go check that video out. So if the rumors are true, we're really excited to go there and check it out. I hope I can get Nick in. So apparently that card does not give you access to the Maple Leaf Lounge. I feel like we have been a little bit deceived from the advertising. So if you were thinking about getting that credit card to get access to the Maple Leaf Lounge, don't get it. Fortunately, we have access to the Plaza Premium Lounge, not Priority Pass Lounge, with our Amex Business Platinum card, but we've already done a review of that. Again, we'll leave a link to that video in the description box below so go check that out since we're obviously not going to review it a second time but for now we're gonna head there and enjoy it
We've just made it onto the plane and the configuration of this plane is three seats on the other side and two seats on this side. So we're just by ourselves, which is pretty lucky. But I don't know about you, like after 10 weeks of not traveling, which for you guys, it obviously probably seems like no time at all because the video frequency hasn't changed at all. But like, does it feel real for you? Not in the least. It's barely even sunk in and it probably won't until we even get to our hotel tonight. It's kind of crazy because this isn't just a momentous day for the pair of us. It's also a momentous day for our family because uh, my sister-in-law has just given birth to twins. So massive congrats to Johnny and Kate on the birth of your new son and daughter. Couldn't be happy for you. But now, off to Costa Rica. So we have now officially arrived in San Jose, Costa Rica. Woohoo! Woo Traveling again. We've been waiting for this for a while. We've had some interesting times in terms of the flight and also the car rental, but right now we are starving. We are going to go grab ourselves some food, check into our guest house, and then we'll check back with you straight after that. And we are here. The flight honestly was a little bit turbulent, but otherwise perfectly fine. The only slightly weird thing is that despite the fact that the flight took about five hours, you only got a drink service. And if you wanted to get any food included, then you had to pay extra. So that all seemed a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we touched down, getting through immigration was super simple. The guys at customs were so nice. It was pretty painless once we got into the airport. Everyone has been so nice here. And that even includes the staff at the car rental place. His name was Maverick. And he just had exceptional customer service because we did have a problem. Basically the way it works here is that if you have a card that provides you with car insurance, they require you to put a deposit down on the card that equals the value of the car, which is quite substantial. So in our case, it was a 25,000 US dollar deposit. And typically what happens, I think, is that the cards that people have do not have that high of a limit. So then they end up having to buy additional insurance. So the additional insurance on our card would have been, I believe about 450 US dollars. However, I'm fortunate with the business card that I have, it will give me the ability to do large deposit. However, it still wasn't going through. And I phoned my credit card provider and they were like, it's fine, your card's not blocked, it should go through. He ended up phoning the bank that Europe Car uses to see if there was something wrong with the terminal. And they were just like, we cannot, see that they've even tried to put something through. And so we were kind of at an impasse, but this is where his exceptional customer service came into play. He basically figured it all out for us because otherwise I don't really know what we would have done. Needless to say, this ended up taking way longer than we expected. So we are quite tired and are going to turn in for the evening, but we will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning from our lovely accommodation here in San Jose. It was a wonderful night's sleep, if a little too short. I think the jet lag's hitting us a little bit, but we have a day which is gonna be spent partially on the road, but before that, then we are going to head down, and enjoy the complimentary breakfast that our accommodation is providing us. Let's go check it out.
After what proved to be a very enjoyable breakfast, we are now leaving San Jose to move on to our first official Costa Rican destination of Manuel Antonio. It should take us about three hours to get there. And yesterday at the car rental office, the guy who was helping us told us about a bridge called Crocodile Bridge, which is at about the halfway point. And by the name, you can guess what we're hoping to see there. So we're excited because it will be a really good opportunity to stretch our legs and hopefully a good chance to see the first of some Costa Rican wildlife. How amazing was that? That was awesome. Like there were probably about 10 to 12 of them all congregated just right around this bridge and they are huge, absolutely massive. Some of them must be at least 10 feet long and that's even just looking from up above. Wow, the fact that they all kind of congregate in this one particular spot is nuts and it's so good from our perspective as well. Very lucky we were taught about this place. Yeah, definitely worth stopping here. And you might be wondering why Nick has come back separately to me. The reason is just because I read a blog and it said that this is an area where there is a lot of car theft. So they recommend that if you can, one person stays in the car and the other person goes to look and then you switch. I mean, it didn't seem like there was really much of a threat around. So I'm not sure if that's maybe an outdated view, but, um, but all the same, it still seems like just a good practice. But yeah, what an amazing place. It's free, you can park up and literally just walk to it. And it's an amazing way to get in touch with some Costa Rican wildlife. Yeah. Very, very good recommendation. Amazing to see crocodiles in their natural habitat and so convenient to do because it's just right on the way between San Jose and Manuel Antonio. Exactly, definitely want to put on your list. We've now made it to our hostel. As you can see, we have a private room and the noise in the background is the air conditioning unit. But I just wanted to mention that number one, it took us a bit longer than three hours to get here only because of the torrential downpour we experienced. But the road conditions are absolutely wonderful. No problems there. The one thing we weren't expecting with driving is that on Highway 27, when you're initially coming out of San Jose, there seem to be quite a number of tolls that you have to pay. Now, I don't know if in the future we can just ask the GPS to exclude toll rolls. It might be possible, it might be not. I think we're going to look to do that going forward. But just something to be aware of that that particular stretch of Highway 27 does have three or four tolls that we went through. That is going to be our video for now. We will be picking this up tomorrow, but we're going to be exploring Manuel Antonio National Park, which is the entire reason why we've driven down this far in Costa Rica first place. So we will bring you along for that. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.